Today I'm making Christina and Carrie's chocolate chip hazelnut cookies from the Horton Here's a Who episode on the Dr. Seuss baking challenge. But I'm gonna put a little spin on it. You're gonna put your spit on it? No, spin. Shut up, James. He's never said that to me. You're kind of stealing my thunder, bro. <laughs> Shut up, Brandon. Watch the Dr. Seuss baking challenge now on Prime Video. So to get started, I'm gonna cream my butter, brown sugar, and granulated sugar in a stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment on medium speed until it's completely smooth. Medium speed. Do it! Oh, you're not plugged in. <laughs> it's not plugged in. <laughs> We're plugged in. Medium speed. Give it a little scrape. So we're creaming the butter right now, right? Creaming the butter and the sugar together, yes. Is this also how someone would cream corn? Asking for a friend. I have no idea. Okay, I'm pretty right. sure creamed corn is just whole kernels and then some of the kernels are like squished. But also maybe you put it in a blender and have milk? Sure. I just oh. forgot that I have to, there's an egg that goes in here and it's in the fridge. Holy cow. So geopolitically, I actually think that would solve most of the world's problems. Don't you agree, Brandon? Yeah. I missed something something great. What happened just now? Yeah, don't worry about it. It's probably nothing. <laughs> okay, we're all creamed. I gotta add one egg. I'm gonna crack it into a bowl separate so we can make sure there's no shells. What if shells did get in? Then you take the egg body and get the shell out. Okay, one egg. Close. I'm gonna add my vanilla too, but I'm not gonna measure. <laughs> That's about good. All right, let's give it a scrape. It's looking cookie-y. Now we're gonna add the chocolate chips and the hazelnuts and get those incorporated. Does anyone eat hazelnuts not with chocolate? Are they always with chocolate? They have hazelnut paste, yeah. Doesn't it's it good. taste like chocolate? No, it tastes like hazelnuts. <laughs> oh. All right, everything's nice and incorporated. I'm going to add my flour and my leaveners. We're gonna mix it on low until it becomes dough. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's some good cookie dough. How can you tell? Because when you squeeze it together, it forms a ball. Okay, I'm gonna get my baking sheet and we're gonna make the cookie. Let's make one stuffed cookie. I'm gonna make it just like Christina and Carrie did. And then I'm gonna take the rest of the dough and put my spin on it. Not spit though. Not spit, spin. So Christina and Carrie must have really been on a roll. They, uh, yeah, they had some really good recipes. All right, I'm gonna split this in half. So two parts, ball this up, spread it out a little bit, make a divot. This is where our hazelnut chocolate spread is gonna go. So we'll pipe that in. Look, green for the Grinch. Huh? Wait, this is Horton Here's a Who though. But the Grinch is part of it, it's part of the fam- Shut up, James. Dude, again! <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be the top, so we can make like this sandwich. You wanna spread it out about the same width as the other one. We'll close it, push the edges down, squish it a bit. And we're done. That looks amazing. We gotta bake it. We're gonna decorate it with some chocolate chips on top. Those are some beefy chocolate chips. I know. All right, and the key here, this is with every cookie you make, to add a little bit of sea salt. Ew, so, so good. Gross. It, no, it, salt brings out the flavor in savory. It's the same way it brings out the flavor in pastry. That does the same thing. So it really does bring the flavors out and you get the sweetness with a little salt. It's so good. Why don't okay. we put some Heinz 51 on there as well? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody who does that. Okay, I'm gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Let's go, little guy. I hope it's closer to 12. So for my spin, we're gonna take the rest of the cookie dough and make like a cookie cake. So then we can all share. Put a little hairspray in there. Hand spray. <laughs> <laughs> it was Raid. Cause bugs. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper so it doesn't stick. And then we're gonna put our cookie dough in. I just wanna mash it all flat. So we just give the cookie dough a knuckle sandwich? Yeah, you don't have to get it perfectly smooth because it'll sort of even out in the oven, but you just wanna make sure that it's as level as possible. So I'm gonna bake this a little bit longer than the small cookie. It's gonna bake 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Let's go, buddy. Oh, don't forget your hairspray. <laughs> all right, our cookie is out of the oven and it's cool. Let's cut it open and see the stuffing. Who bakes just one cookie? Well, because I needed to do the cake, so just show them how to bake one. Shut up, Brennan. Especially when there's two other friends here with you. We could, we'll split the cake. Stuffed with hazelnut and chocolate. My other favorite thing is when there's stuff that I like inside the stuff that I already like. I'm trying it. Mmm. 
The cookie is chewy, but the bottom is crunchy, and then the filling is really soft. That's so good. All right, let's decorate our cookie cake. So James, that means you would like ice cream stuffed pizza? i try it. For the cookie cake, we're gonna take the chocolate hazelnut- Hold your horses, Joshua. Why? I think we forgot something. What? I think it's time for something. Dr. Seuss Trivia. I'm, I'm gonna get this one this time. Can I spread while we're doing this? Yes. Okay. So, uh -oh. of every book ever made oh, in the entire world, oh, gosh. what was Dr. Seuss's actual favorite book? The Shining. <laughs> um, no. So wait, of all the books in the Dr. Seuss category, or? Every book that ever existed. What was his favorite of his books? What was his favorite book? Of his? No, of any book ever. A Tale of Two Cities. I'm just gonna say one of, I'm gonna say his, my favorite book of his, which is red, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Final answer. Final answer. It's the Lorax. Is it really? Yeah. He picked one of his own books. I kind of love that. He's very proud of it. I, hey, that's a, good, that's a good one. And that's according to this website I found, so it must be true. All right, I'm gonna finish it with some buttercream and sprinkles. So at your house, do you have like uh, salt, pepper, sprinkles on the table at all times? Oh yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot wait to dig into this thing. If you want this recipe, you can get it for free in the Dr. Seuss Baking Challenge store on Amazon. Down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm Josh John Russell, and you've been deserted. Yeah, y'all, eat the cake, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>